they appear to sweat last night, obviously good at a personal level, back through the innings, but um, I guess disappointment not to guide the, the team home in the end. Yeah, fantastic game of cricket. Um, as for anyone who's watched the Big Bash over the last five or six years knows that Scorchers versus Sixers um, brings entertainment, brings high quality cricket. Obviously slightly different conditions last night for both teams to adapt to. Um, and yeah, we were real close towards the end, made a good fist of it, but it wasn't to be. Are you expecting to see them again at some point during finals as well? It feels like that sort of rivalry, they always, uh, yeah, always end up meeting up in finals. Absolutely, they're a high quality outfit. They've got some incredible players and some great players coming back. Um, you know, they compete really well, they've got great depth. So yeah, we're certainly expecting to see them at some stage and hopefully if we can play some really good cricket over the next week or so, it'll be in a home final for that one, two playoff. How did you find your first taste of the rivalry? There's, a, there's always a fair bit of um, extra spice in it, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Look, I think it's just two incredibly good cricket teams going head to head, knowing that there's quite a lot riding on the games. Um, psychologically getting one over a team that you're a good chance of meeting in the finals is very important. And obviously points at the top of that table are really tight. So um, a great battle. I um, really enjoyed it. And obviously, you know, we've taken some real confidence from last night, even though the result didn't quite go away. We learn a lot from the way they play their cricket. Um, and we're looking forward to seeing them again later down the line. Do you take a lot of confidence out of your past couple of games? Obviously a slow start with you for the bat. And you obviously had to wait a while to, to get your first game as well. But really handy contributions the last couple of games. Yeah, I think naturally when you join a new team, you want to go and show that you can impress straight away and show that you can add value. Um, I was brought in to add value at the top of the order in the power play and use my experience. So it was really nice to go and particularly contribute in that Thunder game and get a really good win under the belt. Um, quite disappointing personally not to take the team over the line yesterday, but I feel like I'm gaining a bit of rhythm. Um, it's a different style of competition. The standard's really high. So no doubt it took me a couple of games to find my feet, but for now I'm into my work and I'm hoping that I can make some, some solid contributions into the back half of this comp. And yeah, catch as well, Steve Smith. Oh yeah, so I've got this wrapped up finger now. Um, they were going beautifully, as I said, they've got some high quality cricketers. So yeah, we had to play good, good cricket yesterday to go toe to toe with them. And we know that we're going to have to do the same towards the back end. How did you enjoy batting with Hobbo? You obviously started playing together at 10 or 11 at, at Claremont Netherlands. And um, now you're playing together at the Scorchers and you know, on the SCG in a, a grand final rematch. Yeah, pretty surreal to be honest. Um, I was saying in the dress room yesterday, if you told me but I was going to be batting with Nick Hobson at the SCG in 2023. I would have thought it might have been a charity game or something. Um, but, but phenomenal, really, for, for Claremont as a club. We've got Joel Paris and Tim David coming to Optus this week for the Hurricanes. And you could have Matt Kelly, Nick Hobson, myself, Joel and Tim, who all played cricket together for about you know, 10 years growing up. So, yeah, really special to be able to do that. How's the Claremont Netherlands group chat going? That'll be um, firing up the next few days before Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. I mean... I just don't want to get out to either Joel or Tim and I'll count that as a good game. Probably more Tim but being a part-timer as well. Definitely more Tim. Uh, on Hobbo, your, your old Claremont Netherlands coach James Allenby seems to think that you know, there should be a few T20 franchises around the world looking at him. Do you agree with that? Yeah, Hobbo's a fine player. Um, he's had an interesting tournament so far, a bit disjointed having missed out on a hit the last couple of games. That shows how well the team's been playing. Uh, but Hobbo hits the ball uh, as clean as anyone I've played with. Um, he's a big, strong boy. He's got all the shots. And I picked him at the start of the tournament for somebody who would have a breakthrough year. And I think, you know, even something like last night to go and play the way he did on that surface against some really high quality international bowling um, shows that the sky's the limit for him. So I would not be surprised if he puts in some big performances at the end of this comp. On Hobart, how, how highly do you rate their batting? I feel like they've got one of the strongest sort of top six, top seven in the, in the country right now. And obviously Tim David's an unbelievable touch. Yeah, they're a good side, um, you know, with McDermott, Wade, David, um, a couple of really, really good Pakistan overseas players. They're a side that are going to be, you know, rearing to knock us off. But obviously at Optus, we play really good cricket. We lost to them earlier in the competition, so we definitely have, uh, you know, motivation levels are through the roof. And we know in front of our crowd, on a surface that they might not be used to, um, it's a great opportunity for us to not only get one on a team that might be there in the latter stages, but push ourselves into that top spot heading into that knockout game. Any word on Hardy's bowling? Is he right for Wednesday during the Rolly Armour? It's a good question. I'll have to speak to the physios. Though. I think Aaron's just been nursing a bit of a niggle the last little while. Um, I don't think there's too many issues there, so hopefully we'll see him back with the ball in no time. Yeah, it'll be incredible. I think particularly with what happened last year at Optus Stadium and the boys not being able to play in front of their home fans and winning the competition um, at a neutral venue, I think motivation is, is huge to be able to go out and give 
those supporters what they deserve. Um, you know, there's not been any lack of success in the Perth Scorchers franchise, so it's become a bit of an expectation that there'll be finals played at that ground, and I think that's great. Um, I think we take a, a lot of confidence from that as a group too, and we love playing at home. So to fill that stadium with 40, 50,000 people, um, it's an intimidating place to come and play your cricket, and we know that's a competitive advantage for us too. So, yeah, it'd mean a lot to the group, um, absolutely. Talking. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Cool. No worries. Thank you, guys.